Um, the RI-1000, a lot of that is automated for you. It's the only printer in the, it's the only DTG printer in the industry that's quote unquote walk up ready. Meaning that if you leave it on, right, um, it will circulate the white ink on its own and make sure that everything is ready before your next print. So you literally walk up to it and load the design and it should be ready to print. Chris uh, Sch Schlicker asked, um, how many t-shirts per week do you need to produce to make the DTG break even? And if you have a week without printing, will the heads clog like other printers? Great question. And a question that we get a lot, especially in the, in, in the DTG space. Um, there's no exact number as to how many shirts per week you can actually break even. That would be actually a great experiment to do and, and to actually see um, how much the, 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 the maintenance is, is going to cost. But just know this, if your machine is sitting idle, right? Um, well, I'll answer the second part of your question regarding maintenance and, and, and the heads clogging and all, all, all of those things. But if your machine is sitting idle, first of all, it's not making you money. Um, but also, in order to prevent the heads from clogging, what it does is actually the RI-1000 compared to other, other printers, it has a self-maintenance and self-cleaning mechanism when you leave it on. Right, we, we, we have the printers here. You know, we sometimes print shirts for ourselves, for, for some customers to do samples or just to put in our showroom for, for, uh, for showcasing. Um, when we don't use it, we, we leave it on and, and it self cleans. It, it actually makes sure that, um, uh, that the ink circulates. What actually makes the inks clog is the white ink. Okay, um, the white ink is what makes it clog because, uh, because it actually has a chemical in there that, 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 uh, it's more conducive for clogging and, and getting uh, into a solid state if it's not running. So the white ink is what causes the, the, the clogging. However, when you leave the printer on, it has a self maintenance and that's what's great about the RI-1000 compared to other printers where you kind of have to like do a lot of manual cleans. Um, the RI-1000, a lot of that is automated for you. It's the only printer in the, it's the only DTG printer in the industry that's quote unquote walk up ready. Meaning that if you leave it on, right, um, it will circulate the white ink on its own and make sure that everything is ready before your next print. So you literally walk up to it and load a design and it should be ready to print. So um, that's a mechanism and a maintenance uh, feature inside the machine itself that makes sure that the ink doesn't clog when you leave it uh, not running. Now, if you plan to leave it for more than a, a, a week or a couple of days, right? Like maybe you're, on go, you're, you're taking a break or you're going on, on vacay and you want to leave, leave the machine there to not waste ink because every time it circulates, right? Every time it, it, self, uh, it, self, um, it, it does the, the auto maintenance, it will, it will waste some ink because it will, it will circulate that ink and have some w waste ink when it runs it through the head, right? To prevent that happening, what you do is actually you put cleaning fluid inside the lines, you flush out all the all the lines and you put cleaning fluid inside it. And that way you, you can turn it off and you can leave it for weeks, months, and it doesn't matter because you have cleaning fluid in there that prevents the heads, uh, heads from clogging because all, all it's, it's, it's already flushed all the ink out and you have cleaning fluid in there to, to, to keep the lines clean. And then when you when you restart it, all you simply do is you know get the cleaning fluid out and get the ink back in, and 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 then you 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 kickstart it that way. So if you plan to leave it on or leave it off rather for an extended period of time, that's that's what we recommend to, to do, and that's that's what we do if we leave it on if we leave it off for you know several weeks without using it. But if you have that volume, then you can you can keep it on, and and just know that even if you don't right, you can still leave it on for a couple of days, you know, three, four, five days, and it, and it auto uh, it does the auto maintenance. There, there is no problem. Now you need to make sure that you do your part and making sure that like, hey, you know, the 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 cartridge is is in there. That um, you know, you take care of any error messages and things like that to make sure that the auto cleaning function is still uh, is still functional. Because any error messages that you don't take care of for, for um, you know, if if the if the uh, cartridge is not in there, obviously it's, it's not going to run the, the the auto maintenance. So things like that 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 you as the user, t if you take care of that, it will do the auto maintenance on on its own. Very little maintenance that you have to do um, from from your end and then if you leave it on for an, uh, if you leave it off for an extended period of time you can actually just put cleaning fluid in there and swap out all the cartridges and that, therefore you don't have any waste ink and you keep the heads unclogged i hope that helps it's a, a pretty long-winded answer but um hopefully it gives you some background as to how how that works and what are some of the uh, features built into the machine to help it um you know to prevent it from clogging <laughs>